The Pokemon market is so crazy right now. I wanted to go back to this topic of investing in one case per set. How much would it cost you? Where would you be at? And we're going to look at booster box cases for mainline sets. And for specialty sets, there'll be booster, uh, not booster boxes, elite trainer box cases. So for the Pokemon Center ones, there's four per case. For regular ETBs, there's 10. This is what a booster box case looks like. If you're not familiar, six boxes. The ETBs are like this, usually four for Pokemon Center. And we're going to start off with Sword and Shield base. Last time I made this chart, we went all the way back to the XY era. We're just going to look at Sword and Shield base to present, to Prismatic Evolutions. Assuming, we'll talk about prices. Uh, most of these prices, you should have been able to get a lot cheaper. But we're just, for the sake of this, we're going to use MSRP for Pokemon Center ETBs and $100 per booster box. So we're starting off with Sword and Shield base. So that's going to assume you're going to pay $600 per case. That's six booster boxes at $100. The current market value as of TCG player is $2,010. Now this gain percentage is not totally accurate. Like for Darkness Ablaze, it says 1.5, it's 50%. So you have to ignore the first one. Uh, so you guys can do the math from there, but you're seeing the, uh, it's essentially times, 3.35 times. Rebel Clash, same thing, 600 a case. You'd be at $1,338, 2.23 times. Darkness Ablaze, same thing, uh, 600. A lot of these boxes, even some of these current ones, you could have got for in the 80s, 90s. So that will bring that down, bring your profits up. We're also going to talk about selling on eBay and fees. We're going to take that into account. So if you want to say that this 600 is including tax and stuff, then you know that's a good way to look at it. $600 Darkness Ablaze case turns into $900. So you're up 50% there. Vivid Voltage. One of the worst performing sets, not not the worst, but one of the worst, you're at $600 cost basis, you're at $870. So not every single set is a home run, but then you do have like the Evolving Skies and then 151, right? So there's always sets that outperform every generation. There's sets that do really good numbers. Shining Fates. So this one, I have a little different. I Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I don't believe this set had Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs yet. So this is at $400 cost basis for 10, a case of regular 10 ETBs. I think that's right. So, and current market would be 510. So you'd barely be up on Shining Fates. Battle Styles, 600 per case. You'd be at 786. So once again, not up that much either. Battle Styles is the set that introduced alternate arts. So I do think that it's a cool set, but it's not the strongest. Chilling Rain, 600 a, uh, a case. Current markets, 1380 per case. Those are some pretty decent gains right there. You're over 2xing your money. Now, the big dog is obviously Evolving Skies. This is going to skew the numbers quite a bit because I think it's like, what, 860 a box currently? And yes, you could have gotten this for 600 a case. It is possible. You would have, you know, and if you want, we can fudge the numbers later. We can go back. Say you paid more, right? But obviously huge gains, right? Eight point, eight, pretty much 8.7 times. That's crazy. But, you know, Sun and Moon had team up. There's always sets that outperform, right? Then we have Celebration. So this is $240. So this is assuming four Pokemon Center ETBs, current markets, 424. So pretty decent gain there on Celebrations. Fusion Strike, $600 for a booster box case. I know for a fact that this this set was for a while was really cheap uh, you know it is just it's kind of what happens it just in this in this space a lot of times people don't like the sets until they're valuable it's fairly common we're be at almost fourteen hundred dollars currently for a fusion strike case now also i was going off tcg player pricing you might be able to find cases slightly cheaper you know We'll, and we'll talk about the fees and stuff in a second. You, you can sell on Facebook Marketplace. You can sell at a card show. Maybe avoid fees, right? Brilliant Stars, 600 a case. It's almost doubled. It's getting close to 1,200. Astral Radiance, not quite as good. Just over $1,000 per case. Pokemon Go, once again, I had this at the Pokemon Center ETBs. Uh, this set, technically, uh, unless I'm off on the MSRP, which I could be, because I'm not going to lie, I did not buy Pokemon Go ETBs. You would. This would be the only set that you would be technically losing on. Once again, can't win on all of them, right? 
Then we have Lost Origin, one of my favorite sets from Sword and Shield. This one's doing really good, uh, 1400 per case currently. Silver Tempest, yeah, this is available on the Pokemon Center website. So you could get this, uh, these for 143 a box, which would bring, you know, but TCG player has this at 990 per case. Crown Zenith, Pokemon Center ETBs, four of them. At, so 240 per case. Pretty good gains there. Crown Zenith, heavily, heavily printed, but starting to get some traction on even regular ETBs are doing well in that set. Then we have Sword and Shield Base. Now, now we're in the Sword and Shield era where, if I'm being honest, a lot of these sets, like I'm including these, but they're a little too early for the most part to be selling just because like all these sets have been out for a while now, right? They've been out for years. Whereas SV era stuff, it's, it's very new, right? And some of like one of these sets isn't even out yet, but we're just, we're going to include it, right? Just so you have, you're getting every single set, right? So this would be your cost basis. You'd have to have paid for these sets, even though you haven't uh, realize the the appreciation on me yet but this set all these sets except for surging could have definitely been had for way less than 600 a case for booster boxes but the current market has it you're up just a tiny bit on sv base realistically you'd be up more because you bought cheaper paldea evolved is actually doing really well though 600 a case you could have got this for cheaper uh but 870 per case ish is where it's at obsidian flames which is a set that people a lot of people for investing and collecting didn't like, right? Commonly not liked, uh, but you'd still be up on that 744 case. Now 151, the highest performing set currently. This is for Pokemon Center ETBs. These did sell out fast, but these were these were able to be had. Okay, it, if you had notifications on, if you were in a Discord server. Uh, on Instagram, these were available for longer than Prismatic Evolutions were available, I think. 868 a case for four. That's, yeah, that's really good numbers there. Paradox Rift, I think it's an underrated sleeper set. I do think that it's a good set. Lots of illustration rares, uh, but kind of like SV Base, you'd just be barely up a little if you're at 600 a case. Paldean Fates, doing, starting to do better now. The Bubble Mew, kind of carrying that set. But for Pokemon Center ETBs, you'd be up 352 a case for that. Temporal Forces, you'd be up a little bit on that, up about just over $100. Then Twilight Masquerade, which was the best performing booster box of this era, with the most expensive card, not anymore. Decent numbers on that. You'd be at 960 a case currently. Shrouded Fable, if you got the Pokemon Center ETBs, kind of regarded as possibly the worst set of the era. You'd still be up. Still be up some numbers there, up 40 bucks. You know, can't hit them all, right? Every generation has duds. Stellar Crown, kind of in the same boat. I I, I like this set. It's got a nice Bulbasaur and Squirtle. I think the Terrapagos is cool. It's in the anime. Anyways, I've, I've talked about that before. We don't need to go into it too much, but you would still technically be up. All these sets you'd be wait, you'd wanting to be waiting on. Then the things, the market, like, so Twilight was making the market kind of crazy. And then surging and prismatic, it's just gotten insane. So this is where things get a lot more interesting. Surging sparks, you definitely could have had these if you got pre-orders below 600, but this was kind of my average for this. I, no, not average, this was what I paid. I ended up paying 600 per case for my cases. But you'd still be up some good numbers. You'd be over, this just cracked 1,000 a case. It's got the expensive Pikachu, so that's doing well. Then prismatic. So I am including this just because, you know, you could, these Pokemon Center ETBs, now not everybody got a case. This one's harder to get a case, right? But this would have been your price for a case shipped. And this is what they've been selling for on eBay-ish. The prices are kind of varying. Some people were able to get cases, then they changed the limit to two, right? So you could have still gotten two orders at two to equal a case, right? For this set is even out. Pre-release numbers can be high, but the hype, the hype is just insane. So uh, you go from 240 to 720. For prismatic so we'll come back to these numbers here so this would be your total cost to purchase all of this now this would be over a let me pull out my calculator because i did not have this set up beforehand this would be over essentially four years right you're talking i think this was early 2020 to obviously we're getting this is going to be 2025 but you're paying for it in 2024 so uh, we'll call it like four years so if you do uh 14 
080 divided by four years, that is 3,500 per year that you'd spend. You want to divide that by 12, $293 per month to get one case of every set. Now, if you were to sell all of this at current market price, $28,740, which would lead you at, this would be the profit. So you would, which is pretty wild. You would spend 14,000 to make 12,000. Now I know we're going to talk about fees. We got the fee number right here. This is assuming eBay. Okay. You're selling on eBay. So this is at 86%. So we're taking off 14% for fees. You'd be at 11,000 profit. So spending 14,000 to make 11,000. That's, that's what modern Pokemon investing is sealed investing. I'm not talking about singles. Okay. I'm not talking about, I'm just talking about, and you don't, you could scale this down, right? You could do one booster box per set, right? You would just, and for these, you would divide by six, right? For ETBs, it would be four for most of them, except for Shining Fates, right? So what we can learn from this, so going into the bull market, obviously things have, are changing because Sword and Shield like was crazy, like COVID, uh, you know, Evolving skies, like hitting crazy numbers. A lot of these sets doing really well. Then we kind of like lulled off COVID. Like we came out of COVID. A lot of people got out of the hobby. And then we came into SV base and things were really cheap. I mean, I remember SV base was like, you could have got these in the seventies, $70 per box for a while, for a long time, actually. And Paldea was cheap for a long time. That slowly started doing good, right? So all of these sets were kind of coming out into a lull from probably from base to temporal. And then Twilight, it started and it was like, oh, wow, this is crazy with the Greninja. But then Shredder was like, Pfft. and then Seller was kind of, oh, a little bit. And then, yeah, so we're back. It's like a, we're in this cycle, right? So anyways, what I'm trying to say is these are the numbers you'd be looking at. You could assume, I think you could assume more profit, even if, even if you wanted to assume less, you could do the numbers on here. You'd lose on some if you were up up higher, but this is what the market is currently at. Now, moving forward, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get these prices, the 600 surging. However, like Safari Zone just randomly dropped SV09, which we don't even know what set that's going to be. They dropped those pre-orders for a hundred a box and you could have, whatever that set's going to be going to be, you could have got a hundred a box. So the opportunities are still there. Maybe your, your per case price ends up moving to 650, 700 per case. It's for pre-orders. It's just currently, if you're looking to get into, say, say you're trying to get into the investing now a little bit, you're gonna you're gonna have to pre-order. You might have to pay a little bit more, right, than we've paid in the past. So some of these numbers will change moving forward, and that's just the reality of the market. You can do quick flips now, which a lot of the times it was longer. You're looking at, I mean, still so like my time frame. I'm looking between five to ten years before I sell any of my boxes, right? That's just kind of what I'm looking at. But now, I mean, with surging. You could have pre-ordered at 100 and you could sell at 180 and right now i wouldn't blame anybody for selling and taking profits because there's money to be made and a lot of people will do that right and there's nothing wrong with that but uh just long term looking at these sets the sv era is looking crazy the team rocket set is where i'm most excited surging's obviously done well anyways i'm going on a little bit of a rant but this is this is what the numbers look like. I just wanted to show some of the numbers lately. Just been, haven't done any of these spreadsheets or anything. I wanted to get back to that a little. I do think that it's, it's just me sharing the information, right? Just showing it in a like digestible form. So you guys can see, you don't have to look everything up. Um, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I am rambling as per usual at the end of the video. But uh, if you guys are 15 minutes into the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. 
So do yourself a favor, do me a favor, go down below, hit the subscribe button. I do daily Pokemon collecting and investing content. We cover all the new like new cards that are coming out, the new sets. Uh, talk about what's hot, what's not. But anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this one. Catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.